Tonight, students in our area frustrated over the continued mass violence. And now they are hoping for a better future and sharing their powerful message with Fox 5's Lindsay Watts. Fourth of July parade. Uh, there was a shooting that erupted. Multiple people are feared dead. On scene of another mass shooting in America. 14. It's become so normalized that not many people talk about it anymore when it happens. I just want to see happiness in this world. I want to see peace in this world. As a violent summer rages on, many young people are still reeling from the massacre inside a Texas classroom. 19 students now and two teachers that are dead. I was mainly worried for my eight-year-old sister because she was around the age of a lot of the kids who had died. Jordan Hoffman is a rising sophomore in Montgomery County. All I could really think about is that could have been her. She could go to off to school one day and I could never see her again. Six weeks since Uvalde, there have been over 100 mass shootings in America, more than 300 total for the first half of this year, according to the Gun Violence Archive. In D.C., over July 4th weekend, police say 19 people were shot. That just impacts your whole mindset. Anaya Davenport is a rising freshman in Prince George's County. What if I go outside and I make get hurt? What if I go into school and somebody may threaten me? They don't know each other, but after the Uvalde shooting, both channeled their emotions into writing. When will it happen? Do you ever wonder why things happen to you, your community, the crazy world we live in? Do you ever fear for your safety because of the abysmal events occurring in our communities? Music of mayhem and gunfire in our streets, anyone shot who is doomed to be seen. And the evening ends and some may find themselves all right, but what about the many who won't make it home tonight? We need to stop ignoring the atrocities that are going on in our communities and around the world and start fixing the violence that is increasing every day. There are a lot of things in this world we should question. These children are real, not just a cautionary tale. These children now rest because their country has failed. Despite such a bleak present day, they have hoped this country will change and they'll be the ones to make it happen for their kids. I definitely believe that my generation will be able to stop these type of things. I definitely believe in that because it's a whole new generation. Anaya attended Eisenhower Middle School in Laurel. She says she wants to focus on a career in criminal justice. Jordan goes here to Churchill in Potomac, and she says she wants to keep writing, focusing on poetry. You can hear both students' full pieces. You heard some of them tonight on our website, fox5dc.com. Back to you.